Today on Fingerboard Life, we show you how to take your standard tech deck and turn it into a pro fingerboard. So first things first, most important, we're going to change out the grip tape and put on the foam tape. So three options here. We've got some more expensive tape, this FBS smooth tape, maybe about uh, 4 or $5 a sheet. We've got this clear ducky tape if you want to uh, have some graphics you want to see through. Um, or you've got some basic generic shop tape, about a dollar a piece, and we'll use that today to show you our video. Aside from the grip tape, we're also going to change out the bushings, and we're going to change out the wheels, and uh, possibly put some lock nuts on. Let's get started. All right, we're in Wooden Table Studios. So, we find it best that the holes are already cut out around the bolts, so you can take the grip tape off first. You have a little more to hold on to if you leave the trucks on first, so... Main thing is grab something safe. We just grabbed a butter knife here. You want to pick it one of the corners to get started and then you can peel it off by hand. You kind of want to jab at it until it kind of starts to give in. And you just want to go in there with your fingers. It'll come off pretty easy once you get the first hair down. There you go. As you can see, I got like a little nick off there. Peels off. Okay, you gotta give it a little bit of pressure. It will be leaving this white, like extra layer behind. That's just because the glue puts the paper there. Yeah, it's gonna take some extra seconds, but the end product will make your tech deck way better. That's just gonna look like when it's all complete. So there we go, so that's that there. And now we'll show you how we put on our professional grip tape. So that's the number one thing. Of course, you can just leave the trucks on and wheels on, the Tech Deck ones, no problem. The biggest improvement is gonna be changing out the grip tape to some proper foam tape. So we're actually gonna leave on these trucks here. We're gonna change out the bushings. So one of the big, you know what the bushings are? So in the bushings, are kind of what makes the trucks uh, maneuver. So some people find the Tech Deck ones a little bit mushy. So we'll put on a little bit more advanced, beefier ones. We have our bushings right here. We have two colors. We have a green and a yellow. So these are some ones we ordered, some level up ones. So you can either buy these. And I'll show you quickly here too. We had an old uh, bicycle tire. So basically just uh, taking off part of the sidewall of the tire there, cut off some rubber, and that you can kind of turn into little discs. That's what they will look like when they are perfectly cut into their circle. They don't have to be perfect, they still work. So there you go, we punched a little hole in the middle of that, uh, just with a little a nail actually. So usually just used a nail and uh, hammered some holes through that. Cut them into little circles, and these actually are fantastic. So it's just a really amazing quality rubber. I, to be honest, I think I personally almost find these uh, better than a lot of the, the store-bought ones. Uh, biggest difference is they're very stiff. So they are uh, stiff, but very, very high quality compared to what the Tech Deck comes with. And then if you want, you can change out some bearing wheels. So we've got a example here, just some, uh, some uh, very inexpensive bearing wheels. Of course, you can uh, spend as much as you want to and keep stepping up. You know, based on the material and the grip and this and that but but that's one of the, the um, upgrades but just leaving the tech deck trucks alone uh, and changing the grip tape also is a good option if you don't have these parts handy but you can order them uh, very cheaply nowadays yep you can get most of this stuff pretty much all of it actually on Amazon which is very useful but if you guys want to know how to remove this you're needing one of these tools so there you go, you got a couple of different tools. Here's the generic tool that um, some of the tech decks come with. Struggle at the start, but it all eventually just comes out. And these little luck nuts right there, you're going to be needing those in about two seconds. So you want to keep on to those. Those are how you take off the wheels. It's the same for the bushings. Go. So the same tool used for both the wheels and uh, to take the hanger off the truck so you can access the bushings. The bushings can be a very hard thing to learn first, but once you have it off, they just come apart. There's two parts to the bushing. 
you have the basic thing but then right there there is a metal cap which you will be needing very important piece and you have the basic tech deck bushings just yeah. like a little piece of rubber it's kind of like a dome washer kind of thing there it just kind of helps stabilize the bushing so yep pull everything apart this is the long process but the end result is amazing cost so again a dollar for the shop tape um anywhere between zero dollars and you know five dollars for some good quality you know entry level bushings so again right now we're literally potentially into a huge upgrade here for between two and five dollars you know those wheels a uh, dollar a piece for the cheaper bearing type ones so so literally this is potentially um you know a five dollar upgrade five dollar upgrade that makes it all better yep this will be a ten dollar one just because we'll use the actual level up bushings so basically there's um two parts for each truck so you'll kind of see the picture here so basically two are kind of straight and two are kind of domed and they kind of show how show you how it goes here you can kind of see the one style with uh with uh with the washer on top first step is you're going to be taking your flat one and just sliding it on just like that very simple perfect make sure you put the hanger in the pivot cup and slide it on perfect the end you want to make sure that that is in there if not the wheels will be sliding around which you do not want because that can mess up your performance you want to find the dome shaped one and put it whoa. put it facing up slide on there just like that and you want to be taking your little washer ring these washer rings make it so that it does not slide off and it slides off and then on and a cool upgrade too just you see the color so you can really customize your board this way these are some yellow level up bushings and again these come in you know tons of colors as well as some other brands um, you know, if you ever see the BRTs, they're usually orange. So that's how you spot the BRTs sometimes, just the orange bushings they come with. Yep. And then next up, you want to take your little lug nut there, take your tool, poke it on, and then it should just scoop up like that. And then just place it on top and screw it down. And then once it's on there, nice and tight. So this is also where you really customize your board based on how much you tighten your trucks. So some people like the trucks a little bit looser, some like them medium, some like them super tight. So that's uh, individual preference. All right, and then we'll fast forward through most of this and we'll show you the setup once we've got both trucks done and the wheels put on. All right, and if you get frustrated with this, that's totally normal. Uh, everybody does. And here we switch to a better tool. I want to show you the uh, Black River tool. So this came with the Black River Complete. So again, you get the basic tools or there is some better ones. And again, just be patient and there are little tools and little bolts and little nuts, but uh, you'll figure it all out for sure. The next up is the grip tape. We're going to be a super easy way to get on. All you'll be needing is a nail filer. We have a heavy duty one here. You can use any type. It really doesn't matter. Here we go. So now that you have your piece of shop tape, you're just going to peel it off and then putting it nicely on. Make sure it is covering the entire board. Start at one end because it's not a flat board and start tacking it down um, until you get to the other end. You don't want to stick the opposite end down too early or you'll have uh, the middle be strange. Yep. You just want to keep patting it down. Put a lot of pressure on to make sure it goes on very nice. Once you have it on just like that and there's no bubbles on the side, you just want to take your nail filer and just consistently be scraping down on the sides. It will all start to slowly fall off and form a perfect board shape. There you go. So one direction down and a little bit forward potentially at the right moments. 
we've tried doing this with um, razor blades and it just doesn't quite come as smooth, believe it or not. Um, again, this is a bigger file we have. You can go to the dollar store and, and grab yourself a really uh, inexpensive nail file, which might even be uh, better for the job, but we'll kind of speed this up and you kind of see how it's already kind of peeling off on its own. And again, take your time on this and, and you want this to come out awesome and You can kind of even do a first pass and then kind of come back around. But again, this is just uh, kind of practice till you get your own technique dialed in. You kind of see in the angle that's being used to, this is nice because it'll kind of keep the grip tape um, away from the edge, have a little bit of space between the edge of the board and the grip tape, which just probably looks and feels better. Yeah. I think if it all done, it should just slowly really peel off. Yeah, it's just like a little piece of glue. It should just all fall off. You can see I have an entire outline of it. Just keep going around. If anything falls off, it will all eventually fall off, and you'll get this beautiful looking grip tape job on. And it just fits it perfectly well. And it improves the board a lot. Big help. And there you go. We've switched out the wheels. We've changed out the bushings. We put on the foam tape. And literally now, there's uh, nothing we can't do with this. It rides as good as our dynamic. It rides as good as our as our Black River. Um, as far as at least the ability to do tricks with. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this episode. And there you go. That's how you turn your tech deck into a pro fingerboard.